Okay, welcome back to part two of our Twitter bot using Tweepy and Python. Um, where we last left off was basically um, with these last three steps, we were, we would unfollow users that don't follow us back after one hour. We would save the list of those who follow us back. Um, this is something that we can do during that hour long check. And then we can write the list um, the lists to a file in case of an error. So um, the first thing that we want to do, uh, this is probably something, this is more of a quality of life thing. Uh, we, we can basically split our, our functions into separate like literal functions. Uh, what, what I mean is by using uh, def, which is define, and then I can just say, for example, um, find tweets, and I can add this. We'll actually throw up the quote to. And what this will do is um, when I run the function find tweets, uh, it will run everything in here. So we're compressing this basically to just being able to use find tweets like this. Um, I would do that for something like this, but uh, this is something that will never change. So you can just run it once and you won't ever have to worry. Um, okay, so unfollowing users that don't follow you back after one hour. This is something that we're going to put into a different function. So I would call this def unfollow. And in here, we're going to do um, another cursor. But in this case, we're actually going to search for our own, um, our own tweets or our own followers. Actually, I probably find that in here. Um, here we go. So, like I said, I've already made this. Um, so I know what quote unquote fun or what, what method to use. Um, so we're going to be using this. Okay, I lost my train of thought. I apologize. So, for our unfollow function, um, we want to check everyone that's in our followed list because this is the list of people that we followed. So we're going to put for user in followed, which is basically going to check every uh, user ID that we followed so far uh, using the script. So we're gonna be using another if statement that says if API exists friendship, um, and then you have two parameters in this one, uh, screen name and then ID. And so ID is going to be um, ID is supposed to be the ID of them, but what you can do is this. So API dot exists friendship, and then you're supposed to give it two uh, basically names so you're gonna give it the screen name that which is yours so you're gonna give it your um, Twitter handle and then also give it the screen name of the user that you're checking which is going to be the user that we're checking in the followed list and so this this statement in full is one going to return true or false right here which 
if the user is following us, it's going to return true. But if it's not following us, it's going to return false. So it's going to run through all those users that we followed. And if they are not following us back, we want to uh, unfollow them. So to do that, we're going to do API dot um, delete friendship. I believe. Let's follow that over here. Destroy friendship. And it looks like I'm actually using the ID. So I, I'm sorry, in my last video, um, where we're appending our followed list, we want to actually use the user ID. I apologize for that mistake. Um, we're gonna use the user ID because uh, when we're inputting it into this, it's easier to use. Um, so it's going to be id for id equals user so the user variable doesn't change but we're actually going to be comparing our screen name against the id of the twitter user um, because we're also going to need it for here when we're destroying the friendship so i apologize about the last video uh for being un for unclarifying that um, but those are things that you're going to figure out when you and ultimately go up and running this um, and you debug and run your error checks. So um, if this is false, we're going to delete the friendship. And then after that, we can basically just remove them. Uh, we can do follow dot remove and the value will just be user. And um, we can also, after that, we can just do continue. And so basically, this is going to run this code. And um, otherwise, it's going to run whatever is down here um, since we're writing continue right here. So it's going to run this code that we're about to write if they are following us back, which we're going to do friends, yeah, friends dot append, and then we'll do user, and then we'll do follow dot remove user because we don't we want to remove them from the followed list. So we can basically copy this, um, or almost copy this function for our unlike function so we can do for for tweet in liked and um, what I would just do is whoops destroy favorite So um, to go through what we've created again, uh, the first thing we do is log on to Twitter. Second thing we do, or basically we have three separate functions that we've created so far. The first one is to find tweets and then furthermore uh, like them and then follow the user. And then we also have created functions for unfollowing the users and then unliking all the tweets in our list. So uh, to use this in a way that we check every hour, what we're gonna wanna do is create like a main function. Um, 
and this is something that will run um, we'll, we'll actually put it down here at the bottom uh, basically we'll just say while one equals zero or one while one is greater than zero and this will be our permanent loop that'll uh, basically run all these functions up here so we can say um, current time is equal to time dot time and now I get the time in Unix we can say while one is greater than zero or we can even say while time is less than time plus 86400 which is the span of a, um, a day I, we're just doing one hour Now let's just let's just make this a permanent for loop. So while one is greater than zero, um, what we can say is if time is less than time plus and what is sixty minutes times sixty seconds that's thirty six hundred. So if time if our current time is greater than time plus 3600 seconds then we'll run the unfollow function and then we can also say maybe we can unlike every uh, three hours Okay. So number seven is save the name of those who's followed us back. We kind of already did this um, with our friends. And now step eight is just to write the list of our files in case of an error. So to do this, um, what we should probably do is maybe at the beginning of every um, well, back in our back in our while loop. So basically, this is going to say um, if time if if it's been an hour, then we run the unfollow command. If it's been th three hours, run the unlike command. Otherwise, what we want it to do is run the find tweets. Excuse me. Run the find tweets function. And the find tweets function, as we discussed before, is um, what does the following and liking. Okay. So now to um, write this all to a file. What we're going to do is we're going to create a file and it's going to be called f and it's going to be f dot open um, fuck it's been a while since I looked at files let's see how do I work with files Here we go. So file equals open file name r. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, r plus w, which is read plus write. So we can say um, liked tweets equals open. Open file name read plus write. Um,
We can use the right lines function. <coughs> and the right lines function will write basically our entire list um, to our files. So we can actually probably just use the right command. Maybe they like tweets, so I'll write lines. Liked. We can do that for each of our you can say uh, followed users. So basically what I just did is I just made three separate um, functions and then we have to close each of these. Um, and to close them, what do we do, what do we do? We do not close. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So we'll close them like this. And um, so that will rewrite each of these files after every loop so that we're always up to date. put this right here and that solves pretty much the eight steps of our Twitter bot um, the only thing now to do is to uh, debug it and that's that's pretty much it so uh, I will create a new video going over the debugging process and we will start to work from there so I hope you enjoyed part two of programming your own Twitter bot, and I'll see you again for the debugging process.